Hello, welcome back. This is Dave from MeRC, and today we're working on doing auto trim on the Aero Scout right here. It's an airplane which has the Brain FPV Radex flight controller in it. So we're going to be using iNav and doing auto trim and see how that works. Okay, launching the iNav configurator on my notebook right here. And we're going to take a look at some settings. Okay, so first let's set up a switch on our radio to activate auto trim. So we need to go down to the modes tab and then scroll down to where we have auto trim. You can see right now I have it set on auto tune because I was playing with that, but let's go ahead and we'll just turn that one off by just deleting it there with the X. And then we'll go to auto trim, add a range. I'm gonna go with channel nine. I'll just move this slider over and save it. And now I have a switch on my radio already set up for channel 9. And when I move this, you can see auto mode, auto mode going up in there. And it's a three position switch, so if I click it once, I'm still in auto mode. If I click it again, auto mode. I'm still in auto mode. So the only way it's off is if it's all the way to the back, right like that. Okay, so I've got that set up. It's saved. Now let's take a look at the settings. And now we'll go to servos. So in servos, this is what I think auto trim affects. I think auto trim will change the midpoint right here. And we're going to find that out, but I just wanted to take a look at them before I flew, and then we'll take a look at them later. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now let's just go fly it and see what happens. Let's see. Oh, arm. Arming protocol. Okay, first thing is the prop fell off. I never did tighten that. Now, they say you just have to hand tighten it. I want to hand tighten it. See if we got it. Prop's actually running backwards. Huh. Oh, boy. I gotta switch two of the wires. All right, can I even get to the motor wires? Let's see. Oh yeah, they're right here. Oh, they are backwards, that's right. Okay, silver to silver. Gold to gold. Somehow I got those messed up. I don't know how. Yeah, we got the dogs after me now. The dogs, oh, here come some more golfers. Well, let's just fly it anyway and see what happens. There he goes. So I'm in angle mode. Let's try horizon. I don't know, I gotta find one. That's the whole excitement about it. All right, let's throw it in auto trim. Okay, I'm flying in auto mode now and just hoping it'll trim out. Stable there. I'm gonna have to throttle up. Okay, I'm gonna use the rudder to bring it around. 
There we go. More water. More water. All right. Now, let's just run out here. Bring it around. See if we can get it down to the ground now. Oh. No. I think it's flying better though. I gotta disarm it to save those trims. All right, that should save the the auto trim. But I don't think I'm gonna turn it off yet. Let's go back to manual mode and turn auto mode off. All right. Okay, so we're back on the bench. Let's just go ahead and see what we have. I'm gonna connect. And then we'll go to the servos tab. Okay, here we are on the servos tab and you can see that the elevator did change a little bit and the two ailerons changed the same amount and the rudder didn't change. So that's the results. Looks like auto trim actually did work so I'm confident that I know how to do it now and I could do it again if I want. I'm just going to go ahead and save the settings just to make sure I have them. All right, let's disconnect. Okay, auto trim worked out pretty good and uh, I was surprised at how it actually worked that well. So next time I want to try auto tune now that I've got a little more confidence and the plane is flying good. And I want to try auto-tune and see how that affects the PIDs. So that'll be another video. I'll put a link under this one when I get that one done so you can see it. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You know the drill. And we'll see you next time.